Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB to install Windows 10. We are also going to show you Windows 8 and Windows 7. This video is for Windows 10 but you have the option to choose any of those. Okay, so as you can notice here we're in my desktop computer. You can see that the icons are a little bigger so you can see it better. So the first thing we are going to need is of course a USB and as you can see here this is my PC I have three hard drives and the last one Win 10 I just named that is a USB so this is the one we are going to use as you can see it it's empty I'm just showing you this because when we create the tool everything that you have in the USB is going to be deleted so keep that in mind so now I'm going to um, go to properties for the USB and you can see that it's 16 gigabytes. You need at least eight because you know, Windows 10 is growing all the time, more updates and more updates. So for the moment you need eight. This one is 16, it's way more than we need, but that's what I have, all right? So uh, the next thing is, I'm going to show you where to download the tool. So we open the web browser and we are going to go to the Microsoft website. Now, all the links I'm showing you here is going to be in the video description below, all right? So this one is for Windows 10, as you can see there, create Windows 10 installation media. This website is from Microsoft, so it's very trustworthy. And you can create what you need from here. This is all the documentation, you can read it, but basically it explains you what we are going to do in this video, okay? But let's say you don't want Windows 10, you don't like it. I don't know why you wouldn't like it, but let's say you don't like it and you want Windows 8. So also in the Microsoft website, you can download the ISO file for Windows 8.1, as you can see here. So it's the same process. That's why I'm telling you we have three flavors here. You can choose Windows 8, you can confirm, uh, the process is going to start. And also you have Windows 7 to download, but there is a caveat for Windows 7. In order to download the ISO file, it's also for Microsoft, of course, you have to type the product key. So the license for Windows 7 that you may have on your computer. But that's the only caveat. If you don't have it, you cannot download it from the Microsoft website. So I just wanted to show you that you have three options to download any flavor of Windows. Of course, you don't have Windows XP or Windows Vista because those are very old and they are not supported anymore. Windows 7 is going to be unsupported in the next, I believe, 22, 2022. I don't remember, but it's going to be um, unsupported in the future. Okay, but this video is for Windows 10, but the, you have three options to do it, okay? So here, what I'm going to do is click on download tool now so that way we can start the process so as you can imagine i already have it it's very small is is around 20 megabytes so that's kind of nothing so we have it there and the next step is going to be to double click on this guy and the process is going to start so allow me to bring it from the other screen from the other monitor and that's how it looks so it's going to take a few seconds getting a few things ready the video sped up in some parts and here applicable notices and license terms so you can read all that or you just can you just can click accept and move on so getting a few things ready this takes a few minutes and it's giving us two options upgrade this pc now no i don't need that because this pc already has windows 10 or create installation media usb flash drive dvd or iso for another pc yes that's the one i need so here select the language architecture and edition so you can keep this selected use this configuration for this like for this pc and you if you unclick that you can select the language there are many languages there. I don't think they are all, but they are many languages. So I'm going to keep it in English because of course uh, this channel is in English and we speak English. And But you have many other options. Windows 10, you cannot do anything about it. And then the architecture, I'm going to keep it in 64 bits because that's what I need, but you can change it to 32, for example, or both. So I'm going to go next and USB flash drive. Yes, that's what we are going to do. But the other option is ISO file. So you can do download the physical uh, ISO file. The first one is the one we're going to use in this video, but I'm going to show you this one really, really quick. We're going to use it in a coming video. So this is the ISO file. It's around 3.5 gigabytes so it's not super big okay it's kind of okay in, in size but it's 3.5 gigabytes so i have it here again i'm just showing you that you can download it but we are not going to use this method if you want to use this method you can use a tool that we have used in this channel many times which is is rufus 
Um, I'm showing you really quick what you sh you would you would have to do. You just create, you just choose, select the ISO image, and you would click start. Of course, you you can change the name to whatever you may like, and then you just have to press start, and that's going to be ready in about I don't know ten minutes, something like that. But again, we are not going to use that one. I'm going to use USB flash drive, which means we are going to directly download and create the image from the internet. Okay, so we choose that. We go next. And this one, we verify that that's the one. Yes, it's the G drive. That's good. And we're going to click on next. So this one is going to take a few minutes. So you can grab a cup of coffee. Or if you are in the channel, you can see another of my videos. But if you're just watching this video, the thing you can do while we are waiting is scroll down on this video. You see the like button? I would like you to smash the like button until it turns blue and then subscribe to the channel. That would help me a lot and make me very, very happy. Thank you. So here we're back, downloading Windows 10. The video, as you can notice, is super sped up. It took around 17 minutes. In my case, it depends on your internet connection and your computer. And once it's done, is going to show us this. The USB flash drive is ready. So the only thing we have to do is, well, press, um, <laughs> press finish. It's going to take a few, a few more seconds and that's it. So what we are going to do next is I'm going to take out the USB from this computer and I'm going to take it to another to install Windows. All right. And we're going to test it out if it works. So we're going to do that and I'm going to see you in a few seconds. Welcome back. So we are here in front of the monitor and this is the USB we have created a few minutes ago. So I'm just showing it to you. And this is the computer we are going to be working on. So this is a Dell Optiplex 3010. So we're going to connect this uh, USB in, in any USB port. So this computer ha used to have Windows 10 anyway, Windows 10 Pro. So we don't have a problem with that. We're going to install it again okay if you want to know how to disable the bios password or upgrade the bios version for these models or many others many others i'm going to leave the the link in the description below for the video so now i'm going to start pressing the power button and i'm going to press f12 to access the bios this is a uh, the boot menu i'm sorry so this is adele so f12 is the way to go so as you can see here there is the kingston that's the ssd i have installed uh, I have replaced, but I, I should say, and we're going to install Windows on that. So we see there the USB. We have to select that one. And right now, this computer doesn't have anything. It doesn't have any operating system. So we're going to press Enter on the USB. And after a few seconds, you can see the Windows logo. So here we can see the Windows um, usual installation window. <laughs> and it says language to install. It's English. Then we have the times and format, English. We, you can choose if you wish, but I'm just going to leave that as default. And then we're going to go to next. But before, uh, and, oh, that's the latest version, 2020. I, I forgot about that. And here's the thing that I wanted to show you. Repair your computer. You can also use this uh, bootable USB with Windows 10 to fix your computer. Let's say it has some files that is missing, something's not working correctly. You can use it for that as well but in this video we're going to just really quickly show you that this device is working i mean this bootable usb so i'm going to click on install now and here's the part where it's going to ask you for the license key for windows 10 if you already have it. so like i said this computer had windows 10 before but i don't have the key with me so i'm just going to click and i don't have that information there I don't have the license key. So here you can choose any version that you may like. Like I said, this one has Windows, used to have Windows 10 Pro, so I'm, go, I'm just going to choose that one. So I click that and I'm going and we go next. And we wait a few more seconds and we have, of course, of course, to uh, accept the license from Microsoft. So here is going to tell us what do you want to do. Do you want to upgrade it or you want to install it from the beginning? So that's custom. I'm going to choose that because this computer doesn't have anything, any operating system. And here is telling us the, our size for the SSD. So I'm going to delete, it, delete the one on the, on the top. I don't need it. You don't have to do that, of course. Um, and I'm just going to click and select the biggest. So as you can see, the process is going on. That means it's working. This process takes uh, about, I don't know, 
15 to half an hour depending on your computer since it has an SSD is really quick so I just wanted to uh, I'm showing you that the bootable USB works with no problems if this were Windows 8 it, it should work the same no problems Windows 7 even with the caveat it should work with no problem so that's what I wanted to show you in this video guys how to create a bootable USB for Windows 10 it can be Windows 8 can be Windows 7 if that's what you need all right so in the next video we're going to go to the full installation we install windows is very easy it's just click click next 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 and that's pretty much it that's why i just wanted to show you that it's working and it's installing so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next video